Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This video tutorial I am making to demonstrate how can we start Primera Cloud application. As most of our softwares now are become web based and cloud application, Primera also since few years going to web application or cloud. So now we can access our program from anywhere in the world without having the Primera software installed instead in our machine. We can access the web cloud anywhere from any time. Just what we need, we have to. Uh, we need to have a secure internet connection and our username and password to get access to the Primera cloud. So once we have, once your company give you access to Primera cloud or you buy it, what we need when we enter the uh, appropriate email at uh, appropriate web address in the web browser, it will open the cloud application or application username and password dialog box where we can enter our username and password to enter the cloud the, you just open your browser and type primera-eu1.oraclecloud.com backslash web once you type this address in your browser the user the e-cloud dialog box will appear where you type your username normally our username is your company password or your any password I use, normally your username is the company email address or any other email address and you define your password once you get this cloud application oracle send you an email where you can uh, create your password and then confirm it and then this password you use for the future access to the cloud so once you enter your username and password and click the sign in the, the next window is is the uh, uh, welcome window and having this uh, this screen itself has uh, some application like for example here you can see uh, you, this is the this is our welcome window will appear once you after entering your username and password your welcome window will appear here you can see that this uh, this primary cloud where you can get some uh, initial videos to know is uh, something or a basic information from the primary cloud and here this is the oracle this is the if you click this oracle it will open this uh, welcome screen and this is the object selector here you uh, object selector for example here you can select any project to open or any program to open or you can select any um, workplace uh, to be open this thing we will discuss after some time just this is uh, this is to demonstrate the uh, initial or windows or initial screen which appear when we open the cloud so let's start in the primary cloud itself just for a while once you open your browser just type the address primary dash eu1.oraclecloud.com backslash web when you select this one and enter the oracle cloud connect, uh, account sign in will appear where you type your email address or username and password to get into the inside the cloud so let's enter our information once you enter your email uh, username and password the oracle uh, cloud will be open and you will the when you open it first time this welcome screen will appear here you can see some video videos which is uh, like uh, startup videos to give you some know-how or inf basic initial information to get start the prime uh, prime cloud and the and here you can see your name your uh, some basic information here there and here in the select an item this is all this is called object selector when you collect uh, this one you have three options available for us projects which all projects we are, are available are shown here then similarly you have program like simple like program management if you have program management also and the workspaces also workspaces is something like enterprises in primary stand alone application so let's start this one we go to workspace and we select our workspace so as we are uh, as we are uh, managing our uh, program in stand alone application in a standalone application, if you have uh, three or four or more projects you are handling at one time, then you are, we are making enterprise uh, structure and where each project is assigned a, as a dedicated or separate enterprise, enterprise under and under each project, then you further divide it into baseline, revised baseline, update, uh, uh, claims, etc. as per your requirement. So this is something like 
uh, like a uh, file manage management you are doing in window application where we have file uh, file option of for, uh, explorer window explorer where we are making folders and under the folder we are making different folders and different folders like hierarchy based on our applications so in window in in primary uh, uh, standalone application we have this called enterprises and here in the primary cloud base it called workspace application so we click here view all workspaces once it is open you can see that you have uh, remailen contactor primary training so i just make one one uh, EP, uh, workspace for our uh, to for the demonstration purpose for example here we go at and then we just type it here primary online training for example just for the demonstration okay it will come under the rpm or just open this one and put it inside the training okay so it will come under the training and just you know, for for the just make your description as purpose of demonstration only or anything which is uh, helpful for you in the future when you open it is in the description you write for future notes which helpful for you for the reminding or reminding something and as for example and for the work space currency you can put it dollar or a uh, dirhams anything and then you can click add okay so you can see this private cloud training is open now so you just click this one now your primary online training is open okay now you go again go to object selector and go to projects and view all projects when you select view all projects then you have primary training instead training you have online training okay and then you can head add the program program here just click this add button projects you can add any project if you want to make some project from the scratch and if you want to import some project just select uh, import from p6 because if you have already made some program make outside in standalone application you want to bring it in the primary because we are this this uh, uh, video is uh, the purpose of this video is to just get start to get some basic information for the primary cloud we are not making any detailed program in this application now we'll make in the uh, next videos but this uh, purpose of this video is that at least if you are transferring from primary based on alone application to primary cloud what what we need it so what we need at the initial that we, we we need to make our some structure same like enterprise project project structure in primary stone alone same something like this we need to make in primary cloud which is our workspace after workspace you need to transfer all your data from stone alone to the cloud so here we just make one primary training inside this primary training you can add more for example project 1 project 2 project 3 then again project 1 you make further baseline then next update claim something like this so already we i assume that we already have created the program in a standalone application and we are transferring from standalone to the cloud so just click import from p6 okay select xml file just click this one it will open your program just open this program this is our updated program of 12 july just select this one once you select this one go select next it will come directly into the training workspace you can press next or it will give you some information like for example assignment configuration keep existing project configuration keep existing wbs keep existing similarly you have calendar keep existing if you have some other you already created some calendar in cloud you can make it like for example update existing or insert new so for time being it is easy to better to keep existing option selected and then once you see all this uh, options okay then select this one and sorry i will select again the program okay then open and then press next once you see this all just finish click finish 
or you can do one thing for example if you don't you already aware of this information so you don't need you don't want to go and check any information what is going to transfer or no as i see that as we see that we import action you have to check this import action if you are uh, if you are comfortable with this option you can just in the from the first time only once you select the file you can click finish it will it will take all the existing information and it will transfer the project from external to the web based cloud Now our program is imported, so we just open this object selector. From object selector, we select view all the projects. Once we select, when we select this one, now you have Ream online training. As you see here, just select the program. It will open the program. Once you have this program, this will come you. Uh, he'll revise update as of 12 July. It will give you when start project start and project finish. It is not showing now completion here. It, I tell you the, for the reason here. Just go to this uh, object here and select activities. Okay. Now this all the activities shown here in the program. But you can see here that we have remaining uh, we have activity ID, activity name, remaining duration, percentage uh, schedule percentage complete. Performance percentage complete. This is uh, start, finish, and total float. Now you can see that we it's not does not show any activities, and the Gantt chart does not show any information here. This is a, for this reason. Just go and schedule schedule same in a standalone application. Press F9 or press schedule. Schedule now. Schedule completed successfully. And after this, it will show you all the dates. So, for example, this actually start because we put the start and finish column. So, all actual will show with the A. And this is C. C for, uh, stand for constraints. And here you can see that it show you the bars also. Okay. Here you can see if you see here. Okay. Uh, activity nodes. This is the. This is all the columns available here. In the, for example, the you want to see calendar. You can open the calendar here. It will open the calendar dialog box here. Similarly, if you don't want to see the calendar, just uncheck this one. Similarly, all the activities and for example, you want to go early dates or owner who is owner of this application. Uh, who is owner of this activity? Normally, it is very helpful. Project uh, uh, when you are updating, it is very helpful for us. We assign owner, and then when we need the update, we just uh, filter these activities for the owner and send to him for update. This is uh, we will see this later on. So, the predecessor and project ID, project name, uh, all the activities are available as same as in the primary one alone. Just we need to explore, and it is it is same thing like in the stand in the standalone application we are going to column option and then we select the column which we want to show here it is we have the plus uh, button when we click this plus button it show you all the activities available uh, all the columns available and from here the you select you uncheck the one which you want to show like similarly wbs path wbs name like this you can show here and similarly once you all have all this this again chart setting just you click this Gantt chart setting here. Here you have data deadline. Okay, data data deadline shown. You want to show this one. If you uncheck, it will not show. See. So similarly, if you select then data line will show relationship line. If you want to show the relationship line, just uncheck this one. It will show you all relationship type, sideline, progress, spotlight. Okay. Similarly, if you want to go to timeline, sport, uh, timeline here. You have see air month and air quarter, quarter month. This is up to you what you want to show. If, for example, we show quarter one here, but I prefer that timeline is air month. So, like this, you can see here your uh, parameter. So, in this way, similarly, you will co you will copy all your program from stand alone to uh, Primera Cloud. The benefit of Primera Cloud is that we don't need to install a standalone application on your system itself. It is uh, you can uh, you can access Primera 
from anywhere in the world where you have internet and you have user accounts so from this you can access uh, both primera and your data same time and it is uh, the most of the and other uh, is uh, uh, benefit uh, for this cloud application is that all the people they can have access to cloud so when they have some information when there is some uh, uh, major update or some major changes the project manager or other team member immediately inform the planning team and the planning team take appropriate action to to take uh, to, for for these changes so this is like more uh, effective and efficient technique which keep you always uh, updating and it's very easy to uh, transfer the information from one uh, one person to another person instead of follow up with the several people for the updates so uh, in the next video we'll see how we'll make uh, update in the prime in the cloud application what is the method of making the baseline program and what is the techniques we are using to update the program so till that time thank you for your time and i will appreciate if you like share and subscribe my channel uh, i am very thankful all of you who watch my videos and i have very some very good comments from your side but it will uh, but unfortunately most of the people not uh, subscribing my channel so if you subscribe my channel it is a great support for me and encourage me to making making more good videos for our fellow engineer uh, for their help and success in the life so please like share and subscribe my channel until next video thank you for your time see you again bye bye